girded your waist with truth. Ephesians 6.14a If I have blessed you, equipped you, encouraged you, please bless me by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification button. Paul was a Roman citizen. He does not share all of his past with us, but he's a Roman citizen because when he's arrested, he does something called appealing to Rome, which is to say, I invoke the rights of a Roman citizen to the trial of a Roman citizen, at which point he was treated differently. But Paul, as a Roman citizen, pictured a Roman military uniform, and the church that lived in Roman territory could also picture the same thing. So we are safe to presume that the things he was describing were the common military uniform of his day. The waist of a Roman soldier was girded with something called a cingulum militare, and that is a leather belt, which, I mean, we say gird your waist, we think belt. Or, you know, we think the either the belt that keeps your pants up or the belt that keeps your robe shut. In addition to that, it had something called a baltea, which would have been a strap of leather that hung on the front, which would have covered, let us say, some of the most sensitive um, parts of male anatomy. Something that if you strike, you can injure someone badly. Something if you strike, you can prevent their ability to have children. So, this is the thing being pictured. The singular military and its addendum, the Baltea. This is the first area of expected attack. This piece of armor, spiritually, is about your purity. Whether you are single or married, you are potentially attackable through that area. The Word of God says it's better to marry than to burn with passion. And he says that while it would be better if you were like me, and by me he means celibate, celibate and dedicated to God, he realizes the majority of human beings are not wired that way. That for a variety of reasons, from hormonal reasons to romantic reasons, and I'm sure several other reasons as well, most of us do better with a uh, spouse. But whether you are single or married, you have the potential of being tempted through this area and it damaging your testimony. If you were attacked in that area and you did not have armament, then armament is a is is spiritual, but it is also manifest in a testimony of continence, of self control in relation to those things. Because both, you are both attackable through that in your reputation, your testimony, your effectiveness is attackable through those things. But if you were not armed there and you were in combat and someone tried to attack you there, you would be bound by your own instincts to cover it with your hands. Meaning you'd be unable to hold your sword and hold your shield. You'd therefore be not only vulnerable, but you'd also be compromised in terms of using the word and compromised in terms of using your faith as a defense against attacks. So, the statement here, the armor of God in part is purity, is holiness, is a contentment with the state God has given you, it is self-control to not give a space to the enemy, And it is to be content with what God has given you. If I have blessed 
or encouraged you at all, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. God bless you.